In the depths of winter in 2019, a series of pneumonia cases with unknown causes emerged in Wuhan, China, a city with more than 11 million residents. The silence of the unknown was unsettling, but when the World Health Organization finally declared the novel coronavirus, known as COVID-19, a pandemic on March 11, 2020, the world was already teetering on the brink of profound change. This video explores the multifaceted impact of COVID-19 from its mysterious origins to its sweeping effects on global health, economies, and societies, and discusses strategies for mitigating future pandemics. In late 2019, the city of Wuhan in China became the center of a health crisis as cases of pneumonia of unknown origin began to rise dramatically. Investigations pointed towards a seafood market, which also traded in live wild animals, suggesting a zoonotic spillover. However, the exact origin remains a subject of intense study and controversy, with theories ranging from natural occurrence to alarming allegations of laboratory leaks. The world watched as scientists raced to understand the nature of the new virus, tentatively named SARS-CoV-2. Early genetic analysis suggested a bat origin common in coronaviruses, but the intermediate host species, crucial for understanding the transmission to humans, has yet to be definitively identified. The uncertainties surrounding the virus's origins fed not only scientific inquiry, but also geopolitical tensions and conspiracy theories, complicating the global response effort. The discussion about the origin is crucial not just for academic interest, but for practical preventive measures in the future. Understanding where and how pandemics originate is key to preventing similar outbreaks. From Wuhan, the virus hitched rides with travelers, reaching corners of the globe at unprecedented speeds. Thailand reported one of the first cases outside China on January 13, 2020, quickly followed by other countries. The international community faced a virus that did not respect borders, and initial responses varied dramatically. Flights were not grounded quickly enough, and travel advisories lagged, allowing the virus to seed deeply in countries far from its origin. Italy and Spain became early epicenters in Europe, overwhelming health systems and leading to drastic national lockdowns. The United States saw its first confirmed case in January but did not feel the pandemic's full brunt until March. These early days were marked by confusion and underestimation of the virus's transmissibility and lethality, elements that contributed significantly to the global spread. This rapid dissemination showcased both the connectedness of our modern world and the inherent vulnerabilities in our health surveillance systems. COVID-19 has left a staggering imprint on global health with millions infected and a death toll that continuously climbed into the millions by 2022. The disease affected not only those who suffered and died from it, but also overwhelmed health systems, leading to deferred treatments for other conditions and a subsequent broader health crisis. The long-term health consequences for survivors, often referred to as long COVID, include fatigue, respiratory and cardiovascular symptoms, and mental health issues, pointing to a long-term public health challenge. Moreover, the pandemic highlighted stark disparities in health outcomes, disproportionately affecting older adults, those with pre-existing conditions and marginalized communities. These health impacts underscore the need for robust health systems capable of not only responding to pandemic threats, but also ensuring equitable healthcare access during crises. The lessons from COVID-19 are clear. Preparedness and resilience are paramount. The economic impact of COVID-19 has been profound and pervasive, plunging the global economy into a severe recession. Industries such as travel, hospitality, and retail faced unprecedented losses, leading to massive layoffs and business closures. The International Monetary Fund reported a contraction in the global economy by 3.5% in 2020, a downturn only comparable to the Great Depression. Governments worldwide injected trillions of dollars into the economy, but the recovery has been uneven. Developing countries, lacking the financial buffers of wealthier nations, have been particularly hard hit, facing increased poverty and reduced economic prospects. The long-term economic implications are still unfolding, with predictions suggesting a slow and uneven recovery, deeply scarred by widened inequalities. 
This economic shock has forced a re-evaluation of global economic structures and resilience, highlighting the necessity for more robust economic safety nets and the importance of economic diversification to withstand such profound disruptions. The response to the COVID-19 pandemic by governments around the world varied widely, from stringent lockdowns and aggressive contact tracing to more relaxed advisory approaches. Countries like New Zealand and Taiwan were lauded for their quick and decisive actions, which effectively contained the virus's spread. In contrast, others like the United States and Brazil faced criticism for their fragmented and delayed responses. Lockdowns, while effective in reducing transmission, had significant social and economic costs, leading to debates about their sustainability and fairness. The effectiveness of these measures often depended on government capacity, public compliance, and the ability to enforce restrictions without causing undue hardship. The varied successes and failures of government responses have provided a plethora of lessons, emphasizing the importance of preparedness, swift action, and the adaptability of policies to local contexts. The pandemic has tested political leadership globally, revealing the critical role of government in safeguarding public health. The pandemic has catalyzed significant social and cultural shifts. The transition to remote work and learning has redefined traditional workplace and educational environments, possibly for the long term. This shift has demonstrated the possibilities and limitations of digital platforms and remote interactions, reshaping how society thinks about work-life balance and educational accessibility. Mental health has emerged as a critical concern, with increases in anxiety, depression, and loneliness exacerbated by social isolation. On the positive side, the crisis has sparked a broad re-evaluation of community and family life, with many reporting stronger familial bonds and a renewed appreciation for local communities and simple pleasures. These changes are likely to have lasting effects, influencing future societal norms and values. The pandemic has acted as a catalyst for rethinking the structure of our social systems, advocating for more resilient and supportive community networks. The uncertainty and fear surrounding COVID-19 proved fertile ground for the proliferation of conspiracy theories and misinformation. Claims varied from the virus being a bioweapon to theories about 5G technology's role in spreading the virus. This misinformation hindered public health responses and fueled vaccine hesitancy, complicating efforts to control the pandemic. Social media platforms, while enabling information dissemination and connection, also facilitated the rapid spread of false information. The situation prompted these platforms to take unprecedented steps to flag and remove misleading content and to promote authoritative sources. Addressing misinformation requires a multifaceted approach, including better public education on media literacy, more robust regulatory frameworks for online content, and ongoing engagement from public health bodies to provide clear, transparent, and timely information. The development of COVID-19 vaccines has been a monumental scientific achievement completed in record time. This success was made possible by years of prior research on related viruses and innovative technologies like mRNA. However, the distribution of vaccines highlighted global inequities, with wealthier countries securing the majority of doses while poorer regions struggled to obtain supplies. Vaccine hesitancy also emerged as a significant obstacle, driven by misinformation, distrust in pharmaceutical companies, and rapid development timelines. Building public trust through transparency about the testing processes and side effects, as well as inclusive and fair distribution, is crucial for overcoming these challenges. The vaccine rollout has underscored the need for global cooperation and a coordinated approach to public health crises. Ensuring equitable access to life-saving vaccines must be a priority in future global health strategies. During the pandemic, instances of international cooperation, such as sharing research and resources, highlighted the potential for collective action in addressing global crises. However, there were also significant failures, including initial delays in sharing information and inconsistencies in the global health response, which revealed weaknesses in the international health framework. The role of the World Health Organization, WHO, 
was pivotal, yet it faced criticism for its response timing and the clarity of its guidelines. The pandemic underscored the necessity for reform in global health governance, emphasizing the need for greater transparency, accountability, and agility in responding to emergencies. Strengthening global health infrastructure and ensuring that all countries have a voice in global health decisions are crucial steps toward more effective international cooperation. The COVID-19 crisis has shown that no nation can stand alone. Global challenges require global solutions. The media played a dual role during the COVID-19 pandemic. On one hand, it was a crucial tool for disseminating vital public health information. On the other, it sometimes contributed to the spread of misinformation. The rush to report breaking news often outpaced the verification of facts, contributing to public confusion and fear. Criticism of the media's approach to coverage has led to calls for more responsible journalism that prioritizes accuracy over speed. However, many journalists and media outlets provided exemplary coverage, helping to educate the public, debunk myths, and hold authorities accountable. Going forward, the relationship between the media and public health officials should be built on mutual respect and a shared goal of delivering accurate, life-saving information. The media's role in shaping public behavior and policy during health crises is undeniably powerful and must be wielded responsibly. In response to the economic devastation wrought by COVID-19, governments worldwide launched various stimulus packages and financial aid programs aimed at stabilizing economies and aiding recovery. These measures included direct financial support to unemployed individuals, loans and grants for businesses, and incentives for economic sectors particularly hard hit by the pandemic. While these initiatives provided necessary relief, they also raised concerns about long-term economic sustainability and debt. The impact on small businesses and the unemployed was particularly severe, highlighting the need for targeted support and policies that promote long-term economic resilience and job creation. As the world continues to navigate the economic aftermath of the pandemic, the focus must shift to sustainable recovery strategies that address underlying economic vulnerabilities and promote inclusive growth. COVID-19 has been a wake-up call for the world on the necessity of pandemic preparedness. The experience has highlighted the importance of robust health surveillance systems, rapid response capabilities, and global health security initiatives. Innovations in healthcare, spurred by the crisis, including telemedicine and rapid diagnostic testing, offer promising avenues for enhancing future responses. Governments and international bodies must prioritize investments in health infrastructure and research, ensuring that the global community is better prepared for the next health crisis. This involves not only improving medical capacities, but also addressing social determinants of health that exacerbate vulnerability during pandemics. The lessons from COVID-19 must translate into concrete actions that strengthen the global health landscape, ensuring that the world is never again caught so unprepared. The COVID-19 pandemic has reshaped the world in unprecedented ways, testing the resilience and adaptability of societies globally. It has brought profound losses and challenges, but also sparked innovation, solidarity, and introspection about the kind of future humanity wishes to create. As we reflect on the pandemic's impact, it is clear that the path to recovery and preparedness is interconnected with our ability to foster a more equitable, resilient, and cooperative global community. The lessons learned from this crisis must guide future actions and policies, ensuring that society not only recovers but also thrives in the face of future challenges. The end of the COVID-19 pandemic is not just a return to normalcy, but an opportunity to redefine what normal should be. It is a chance to build back better, informed by the hard-earned wisdom of a global crisis.